Uh, it's the Booker That Gratitude Guy. Independence Day 2013. What a great day to talk about gratitude. When we think about how this country was founded, Independence Day, freedom, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness I talked about a couple of days ago. But let's think about how that relates to gratitude and think about one of those things that we want to remember every single day, especially when we're framing our life in gratitude and especially when we're writing in our gratitude journal. We don't want to take any of these things for granted. I was thinking just about freedom. Just think about all the choices that we get. And again, the liberties and the independence that we enjoy. You look across countries across the world, you see the oppression and you see all the governments and the situations that are not good. I remember years and years ago, I met a gentleman that had been in jail and I had no idea what that was like. I think he's incarcerated for some amount of time. But I asked him one day, I said, I can only imagine, or maybe I couldn't, but I said, I can only imagine what that must be like. It must be terrible. I said, what's the worst thing of all? And frankly, I was expecting something else. And he said, I'll tell you what the worst thing of all is. It's grabbing the hold of those bars and looking out this window and looking at a mountain and thinking, I can't go there because I don't get a choice. I have to stay here. And if I wanted to go to that mountain, I can't because I'm incarcerated. And that freedom is taken away. So on this 4th of July, on this Independence Day, Think about everything that you're grateful for in your life that has to do with your freedoms. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech. It just is amazing what we take for granted. And that's why I like the whole gratitude aspect so much. Because every day we focus on what we're grateful for. Be writing it down. It, refer, it reaffirms it in your head. It's just like taking notes when you were in high school and college. It makes such a difference. It plants it in the brain. If you've got a gratitude journal, great. If not, you can pick one up at thebrooker.com. So have a great 4th of July. Be careful out there with the fireworks. But remember, don't take for granted this independence. It's something that is so phenomenal, and we should be so incredibly grateful for it. That's it for today. Again, have a great 4th of July. We'll see you tomorrow.